Hello people, this is Self Turks, and in this video we'll be learning that how you can host your own Docker registry and then you can push your Docker images there and then you can pull those Docker images. So one of the important term is Docker registry and we will understand that what a Docker registry is and then we'll create or, or deploy our own Docker registry. So for understanding a Docker registry, we need to understand this concept. So let's say you're having your own machine, which means that you're using your laptop or your desktop. So I have designated this as node one. Now, when you have Docker installed on this system, then you fire a command docker pull image and version. So this is the basic command that you use when you are working with Docker. When you fire this command, then this Docker client will do something. What it will do? It will go to Docker Hub. So Docker Hub is a cloud based service which has been deployed by the Docker people where other people can host their images, which means that you can create your own image and then you can push those, image, those images to this particular Docker Hub. So when I fire this command Docker pull, then what happens? It connects to this particular Docker Hub and it pulls the image which has been given here. This is a scenario where we are using cloud based Docker Hub and it is being managed by Docker people. So suppose you are working on your project, you have your own Docker images and you want to host those Docker images locally for your office work, for your company or for your team work, then you need to host your own Docker registry. So in that case, what we are going to do, we will be having a node 2 that will be a separate machine and we'll install this Docker registry there so that when you fire this command Docker pull image name and version, so it will it will connect to this particular Docker registry and pull the image from there. So this is the overall thing that we are going to do. That is, we are going to host our own Docker registry. So Docker registry is a place where people can push their image and then other people can download it. So in your scenario or in a scenario of particular company, they create the images of their product and they will host those images in their own Docker registry, which is which has been deployed inside their office network. The prerequisite for following this video is that the local machine should have Docker installed, which means this node one should have Docker installed. So if Docker is installed, then Docker client will be present there and node two should have Docker installed and Docker compose installed. So we'll start the registry services using Docker compose. So Docker compose is an important application that should be installed inside this node two. Now the prerequisite should be fulfilled, then only we can follow this particular or we can create your own Docker registry. We'll go to our Linux box here and I'm going to node one. So this is my node one and I'm inside this particular Docker registry folder, Docker registry app and it is empty. So this is node one where Docker is present. So I'll uh, type the command Docker and you can see the Docker client is working. Now I'll open a new tab here. So you can see a new tab is present here on the right hand side and I'll connect to my other machine. So I'll connect that machine using SSH. So I'll say SSH and then self turds. So self turds is the name of the uh, user there and then the IP address. So it is 10.42.0.1. So this IP address will differ based on your machine. So you need to know the IP address of your system where you will be creating or where you will be hosting your own Docker registry. So this is the IP address. And if I do enter, you can see I went inside a Ubuntu machine and it has successfully entered here. So if I do ls, so it is present here. If I do if config, which will show the IP address. So you can see here, this is 10.42.0.1. So this is the IP address. Now, here there's a folder workspace present. I'll go inside this workspace and I'll create a new folder that is Docker registry. So this folder can be anything. So Docker registry. Now we'll be using Docker compose file to create the, to host the services. So I'll create a Docker compose file. So it will be Docker compose.yaml. So the extension should be YAML and I'll be using version three of Docker compose. So I'll say three dash and then I'll say the version that we are going to use is what is three. So this is the version. So in Docker Compose, we need to define our services. So we'll write services and the first service will be what? It will be Docker Registry. So this is the name of the service. So you can give anything ABC, PQRR, only Docker Registry, my own Docker Registry. Creating a service, we need to have an image. So we'll go to our Chrome browser and we'll search for Docker Registry. So we'll say Docker Registry and 
this will take us to registry docker hub this is a docker registry image which has been given by docker official images or the docker people only so this says that this is the registry image and these are the different tags that are present and you can also view the docker file etc and different configuration so this is the registry and it is having different versions so i'll be using version 2 so we'll say the image that we are going to use for creating this particular service is what registry and the version will be what the version will be 2 so i'll save this and then if i'm going to create a container so the container name will be what the container name will be docker registry so this can be anything so the container name can be anything abcpq or whatever you want to provide but the image that we'll be using is registry colon 2 which means the sec, uh, version 2 of registry image now we need to uh, connect to the port or we need to port forward the host machine port and the inside port of the docker so if i go inside this docker file of uh, registry image so you can see i'll go inside any docker file so it will show the configuration and you can see the 5000 port has been exposed and this volume varli registry is there so the port exposed inside the docker container is what 5000 and i'll expose the same port of the host machine so I'll say 5000 and then 5000 so when I'm writing this particular port 5000 colon 5000 what it means that if I'm hosting my docker container or docker registry inside this then it will create a container here and inside the container the 5000 port will be exposed but from outside if someone wants to connect to that docker registry then this particular node 2 machine will have 5000 port connected to the inside 5000 port of the docker container so you need to have these particular concepts then only you can create your own docker compose file so once the port has been finalized that i'll use 5000 then what i need to do i need to just say that restart always so that if this particular uh, containers gets crashed then also it will restart itself so always so i think restart and there are some blank spaces that's why it is giving error so restart always and then we need to say what we need to say the volume which we want to use so we'll create a dot volume folder which means that in the particular folder will where we'll be running docker compose we'll create a volume folder that will be connected to what that will be connected to var lib and then registry so this is the particular folder which will be present inside the container and we are mounting that to the volume folder that will be creating so why we are doing this because when we will push our images to this particular docker registry then it should persist which means that even though the container crashes then also we can uh, get the images later on so that if the container crashes then we'll restart the docker registry and then also we can get our images it is not that if the container crashes then all the images are gone so this is the first service that we are defining the second service is what we need to use a gui which means we need to use a ui from where we can see the contents which is present inside the docker registry which are the images present which is the user present which user has hosted which images so we'll be using another docker container and that will be what docker registry front end we'll just search it and we'll go to this particular uh, user and here we will go to this docker registry front end so we'll be using this particular uh, image to view our images that are present inside the docker registry so you can use any other uh, docker image to view to make your front end work but i'll be using this so i'll copy this particular one registry front end and these are the different tags which are present so we'll be using what we'll be using version 2 the latest one so if this video if the video you are seeing after some time then there may be other tag if you want to use that then that is also good so i'll create another service that is docker registry and then ui so this is the name of the service and inside the service i'll be using image will be what image will be this one that we have copied from there and we'll be using version 2 so i'll copy this and then what we need to do we need to provide a container name so that we'll get a beautiful container name in our docker ps command so it is container name and the name of the container will be what docker registry 
UI. So this is the Docker container name. It can be anything, whatever you like. And then we need to do port forwarding. So it will be ports. And here we want to use 8080 port of the host machine, which will be binded to the port 80 of the Docker container. So I'll come here and then what we need to do, we need to give some environment variable. So I'll show you what these environment variables are. So I'll go to this particular con dk lean docker registry front end and if i go here overview then you can see these are the different configuration features which will be used and this is the command to start the docker so there are some environment variables so these are the environment variables so i'll copy this particular one one first one is env docker registry so i'll take this i'll do a control c i'll come here and i'll paste it here same way i'll take the second one and docker registry port Okay, so I'll do control C and then control V. So what does this environment variable mean? This means that when this Docker registry UI will be instantiated, then it should know that to which Docker registry backend it should get connected so that it can you can view the images that are present. So environment Docker registry host is the name of the Docker container that you need to provide here. So the name of the container is what Docker registry. So we'll say Docker and then registry. And then what is the port? So on which port this one is working? So you need to provide that. So it is port 5000. So we are done with this. That means we have defined two services in our Docker Compose. One is Docker Registry and one is Docker Registry UI. So we'll save this file and then we'll create a directory here. The directory name will be what? NKDIR volume. So this volume directory is mounted inside the Docker Compose file for the docker registry container so this fol folder has been created and now we'll start our services so we'll say docker compose minus f that is file name so the, uh, this is the file name and then we'll do up so this will start the docker services which we have defined inside the docker compose file now it will start pulling the images first because it was not present on my local system of this particular node that is node 2 so it will download those images and then it will create the container out of it so this may take some time of uh, depending on the internet speed so when it comes when the whole image is fully downloaded the container will be created so both the images has been downloaded you can see here that docker registry front end was downloaded and then the registry was also downloaded so if i come here so the docker registry front end was downloaded and then the registry image was also downloaded from docker hub and the service has been started so these two services are running on my node 2 that is on ip 10.42.0.1 now if i go to my browser here and if i type 10.42.0.1 42.0.1 and then we need to provide the port that we have exposed so you remember that we have written the 8080 port of docker front end so you can see here that welcome to docker registry and we can browse the uh, uh, registry of this particular docker registry so there are no images currently present and this is the gui that is the front end so this front end is getting connected to the docker registry backend so there is no image present because we have not pushed any that's why it is empty now we'll come to our terminal here and i'll go to my node one so this is node one so we are having two tabs here registry app which is node one which is my local machine where we'll create the image or we'll uh, we'll create a new image and we'll push that image to docker registry so i'll do a ls here so this folder is empty now in my node one that is here if i go to the image so this is node one and this is the docker registry so we have started the docker registry here and then here we need to configure something so for the first configuration is what we need to update the host file so i'll go as the root user so i'll enter the password and okay it will take time so authentication field here so i'll do it correctly so this time we are now into root user so you can do it through root user or your uh, user if it is having pseudo privileges that depends on your machine so i'll open vim etc and then host file so your host file can contain some other entries but you need to add a new entry and that is what you need to provide the ip address of the docker registry node so that is 10.42.0.1 so this ip will change based on your machine it is not fixed but this thing is fixed that you need to provide self -thirds .local com. so you need to provide a host name to your particular 
Docker registry, and then from your this machine that is node one, you can ping using self local.com. So even though the IP changes, then your host name will be same. So I'll save it and I'll do ping and then self local.com. So you can see here time for 4.53 millisecond. So my node one that is this node is getting connected to this node two so this node one is able to ping to node two which means the connection has been established now i'll do a control c here the first change was this the second change is what the docker registry that is running here which means this one so if i come here okay so the docker registry that is running here is not secure which means it is not authenticated so you need to update some configuration in your docker client of node one so that you can connect to this docker registry so i'll come here and you need to open what etc and then uh, docker and then daemon.json so this is the file that you need to create if it is not present if it is present then you need to update it with a particular this one so i'll say in secure registry registry so you need to provide the registries that are insecure so that the docker client can connect to them so it is what that one is it is what insecure registry so the spelling is correct insecure registries okay and i need to provide a colon here so that everything is fine because it is json so insecure registries and i'll say self turts dot local dot com because the host name which i have provided in my vim slash etc slash host is self turts dot local dot com so it is the host name that you will provide so you will update that host name in this particular file so what i'll do i'll stop the docker service so it will be service docker stop so this command will change depending on your machine for windows it will be other for other ubuntu it can be other thing so you need to stop your docker service and then you need to start the docker service so this is the basic thing that you need to update your daemon.json file which will be present inside etc docker daemon.json if it is not there then you need to create it you need to provide what you need to provide this particular line that is insecure registries and the host name that you have provided in your host file of your particular system so this was all it and now what we need to do we'll exit from here so that we will again come to the self touch user so once this has been done and the docker service has been restarted then what you need to do you need to create an image so i'll download an image so if i say here docker images then you can see no image is present so i'll docker do docker pull and then alpine so this command will do what this will go to the default docker hub and download the alpine image from there it is not going to our registry so it is default by default getting connected to the docker hub now once this image has been uh, downloaded so i'll see docker images and you can see alpine image is present then what you need to do you need to tag this image with your docker registry host name so what we'll do we'll tag this so we'll say docker and then tag so we are creating a new image or we are tagging this image with a new tag and that will be what the first thing is what we need to provide the base image that is alpine and it is what latest so alpine and the tag is latest so we are using alpine latest and then what we need to do we need to provide the host name so we'll say self turds dot local dot com and the port of the registry and then what we need to do we need to provide the username which will be created means which user is creating this image so i'll say self turds and then image name so image name will be what i'll say alpine self turds so this is just a demo that i'm using uh, the alpine image which which has been provided by the docker hub and i'm tagging it as a different name and then i'll upload that to my docker own docker uh, registry so i'll say v1 okay let's say it is v1 alpine self turds v1 so i'll tag it okay so now if i say docker images so what i'll find i'll find two images alpine and self touch local.com 5000 so when you are tagging you need to use this command docker tag alpine latest which is the base image and then the tag so tag will contain the host name the port 
and then a username and this so this username the name of the image everything is configurable based on what are the settings that you have you have provided so i have provided the host name in my host file as shelter.com my docker registry is running on port 5000 so i have given 5000 i want to create a user with the name shelters it can be abc it can be john or anything and then the name of the image is also what you want to provide so this has been created and then what we need to do we need to say docker push and then the image that is self turds local.com 5000 the name and the version so the version is what here tag so the tag is v1 so i'm writing v1 so let's see everything works fine and you can see here that push refers to this okay so it is saying https client so i think um, every self turds dot local.com i'll again go to this root and then i'll type this i'll win etc and then docker and then daemon.json so it is perfect that is we have provided insecure registries okay one thing is missing i need to provide the port also okay so that was missing so port is there again i need to stop the docker service so i'll say service docker stop and then i need to restart it so i'll say service docker start so this will restart the service i'll again exit so that i can come to my self touch user and i'll fire the command word docker push and this time it is preparing and it is pushing the image there so the image has been successfully pushed and if i go to my browser and if i reload it this time you can see that self touch user is there so home browse repository self touch user is there and alpine self touch image is there so we have successfully hosted our uh, docker registry there means image there so i'll come to my node 2 i'll do a control c so that i can stop my services because it was running in foreground and to start that in backend i'll use the minus t command for daemon so this will start the container means start the docker registry ui and docker registry uh, here okay so everything is fine and if i say docker ps so these are the two docker container that has been created now my docker registry is running in in background and everything is fine so i'll come again here and i'll do what docker images okay i'll delete this particular image so i'll say docker rmi means remove image and the name of the image so this image and the version one so i'll remove this image and i'll say docker images so that you can see that only one image is present now i'll download this image from my own docker registry so if i come here the docker registry if i do a reload then you can see this particular v1 is present and if i come here so this is self touch alpine and it is saying docker pull so i'll copy this command i'll come here i'll do insert and you can see error response no such host okay it is saying no such host because i need to provide the actual host name so it will be self turds dot local dot com so now if i do docker images you can see the image has come so this was all about how to host your own docker registry how to tag the image and then you need to upload that or push that image to your own docker registry so this way your company or your team can host their own local private setup of docker registry they can push the images there and they can pull the images and work on it so you need so there's no need for going to docker hub every time because your product is there and you don't need to host your own source code to cloud services so you need to create your own local docker registry and push the code there so this was all about this video hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people